हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन एंड दिस इज माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट होटल बुकिंग सिस्टम एंड आई हैव डेवलप्ड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो एंड एपीआई बेस्ड सिस्टम राइट एंड डेटाबेस आई एम यूजिंग द माय स्क्रोल सो द बेसिक कांसेप्ट इज फॉर डेवलपिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट टू बुक द होटल राइट एंड द कस्टमर पैनल वी हैव डेवलप्ड इन एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो राइट आई हैव यूज्ड एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो uh for developing the front end part means the customer part this is a pure java based application this is not a hybrid application database i am using the mysql so as you know that mysql deploys on the server so we can't connect mysql database with android studio so for connecting mysql with android studio we have written different types of api and those api we have written in php so the communication between the mysql database and the android is happening through uh the api which we have written in android uh, in php so for running this project you need a xamp server or php based server where you can deploy the application the api system right and android studio where you can run your android application you can run this application on emulator as well as your mobile devices right so we are developer mode is enabled right so these technology stacks we have used for developing this project the version for the php we are using 7.4 and the mysql version is 5.6 right so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so once you load this project in android studio and once you run it so i am running it so once you run it then you will get the splash form as uh, you can see here so this is a splash form right and once the splash form is loaded you will get three buttons there right so login for register or home so once you click on the home right you will get uh, this uh, home page right here this is a banner is coming from the database through the api and there are some menu system here right this same menu system available here in the navigation bar right so search room by category right so these all categories are coming from the database if you click on the rooms then all of the rooms which belongs to that category will be displayed there if you click on that then you will be able to see the details and after that you can book the room right so you can book the room but there is a restriction you can't book the room without login right so this is the room details now uh, yeah okay so this is the room search by the all rooms so you will be able to see all of the rooms here which rooms are available so you can see these are the rooms right and the cost per day is this one right and these are the room numbers and then after uh, there is a registration from where customer can register right so once you click on the register you will be able to see the registration form where customer from where customer can register so this is the registration form from where customer can register right here right now uh, the next one is the uh, this is the navigation bar so login right about us and contact us once you click on the about us then you will be able to see the about of the project this is a static there is nothing dynamic on it and then the contact us so we are saving the contact us details in the database right okay so this is the contact us right so now i am going to log in so for log in just click on the log in and then after enter your user id and password here amit at the rate gmail.com and then password is test 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 okay so log in okay so once you log in then in, this is the login level menu here you can see my booking section my profile right and log out so these three menus we have increased because it's login and this navigation pane is loading according to the session so you can see your my bookings here so all of the bookings which you have made will be displayed here once you click on the bookings you will be able to see the details of that booking right date and so on right and then this is the my account section my profile section from where you will be able to see your profile <coughs> right and then uh, this is the log out so i will uh do the log out later right now i am going to book the room so this is all rooms right here and then after that i am going to book this deluxe room 
right and so this is the photo of the room and then book room once you click on the book room it will ask your details so number of person i am like okay two person and one child okay so number of rooms i need only one room okay so the date so i am adding 28 june okay and then so to date 20 uh, 30 june 30 june all right and then okay so the total amount is uh, 600 rupees right so here are two options you want to pay a total of card payment if you click on the card payment then you will be able to see the card payment details right okay so let me show you so you can see this is the card payment details right if you click on the pay at hotel then it will show you the book room directly right so i am uh, choosing the card payment and after that i am entering the credit card details right so here you need to enter credit card details year 2022 and then enter 16 digit credit card number if you don't enter it then it will not be proceeded right and then so click on the done part okay so i'm using the emulator that's why the navigation is little bit weird right once you click on that done then it will show okay your room, room booked successfully and it will show you the room lists right what you have booked earlier right so this is the room uh, which uh, we have booked earlier right so this is one room amit kumar once you click on this then you will be able to see the details of your booking right so this is the booking list from here right so uh this again i exited i am let me open the app again here from hotel okay so this is the hotel booking system okay so this is the overall flow of the application right and as i told this is there is no admin panel for this but if you need admin panel then we will develop the admin panel uh in web app where admin can manage all of the application and customer panel will be on the mobile side right so the logout once you click on the logout then this navigation pane will not be displayed right so confirm right then it the uh, page will be refreshed and you can see it's showing the login it's not showing the my bookings and my profile page right so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project hotel room booking system and as as i told you earlier this is a android api and mysql based system so if you need any extra functionality any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much